That's the Chicago snow and weather would get the Green Bay Packers on Sunday. But, you know, Brett Favre, Frostbite's his middle name, right, Steve? He's used to that stuff. Well, Brett Oop. Favre can't handle the snap here. Not really. And then the next play, a start of an even tougher day for John Ryan. Back yeah, to punt. Catch the ball. Well, that's the first part of punting, right? And the Packers give it up there. Bears leading 6-0 after the 3-0 after the uh, miscues. Oh. Now another disaster on special teams. This punt is blocked. They hadn't had a punt block in 12 years in Green Bay. 929 punts. Four plays later, however, the Packers defense comes up big, or the weather again gets somebody. Musa Muhammad can't hang on on fourth and goal. Packers ball, and then Ryan Grant busts one from 66 yards out. Yeah, that, that Chicago Bear defense you know, has been known for its toughness up the middle, but this year they've been surrendering big runs. So the Packers are leading in a game in which they had not been able to move the ball at all. In fact, Brett Favre had only two completions for nine yards in the first half. Here's Ooh, one that ball's moving. of his many incompletions. You saw the ball just flutter around, so that's the problem is that it brought John Ryan on the uh, punt again. Uh. Wow. That was almost a Landetta-esque whiff. Kind of windy. It's a nine-yard punt, so two plays later, here's Kyle Orton doing something with the quality field position. Gets Garrett Wolf on the screen. 33-yard gain. On a day like this, that's a, that's a good call. Those Short screen pass. passes. And then Short. three plays later, the Bears hand off to their Adrian Peterson. Touchdown. Bears up 13-7. Let's go to the third quarter. Opening possession of the second half. Favre picked by Alex Brown. The ball was fluttering everywhere on far, it seems. Yeah, but it was fluttering right to the other team. And uh, nine <laughs> plays later, second and goal, play fake, Orton to Desmond Clark. That's a touchdown. Yeah, when you're running the ball well, play action pass is what you want to do. And they go for two midway through the third quarter. It's 21-7, and it's converted. And then another blocked punt. Have you ever seen this, Steve? No, when it rains, it pours, I guess. Hadn't had a punt blocked in 12 years, and we, we saw it happen over and over again. Yeah, left you shaking your head. 28 to 7 to score. And then in the fourth quarter, Favre picked by Brian Erlacher, and he is gone. There he goes. Hold it up, Erlacher. Hold it up. Erlacher, hold it up for Deion Sanders. That man's upset by that Pro Bowl voting, so I don't blame him. Well, he holds up uh, one hand. It's just the ball's it's not in there. It's number one. And Favre, as you can see, mm. tried to fire that his famed fastball in there, but the Bears thump their hated rivals from Wisconsin and really do them some damage because the Green Bay Packers will go into the NFC playoffs as the two seed as Chicago sweeps Green Bay for a second time in three seasons. So if Green Bay is going to make the Super Bowl, it appears Brett Favre will have to win in Dallas for the first time in his career. And as you can see, if you're the top seed in the NFC, it's a good thing. Since 1975, nearly 91% of the NFC teams to have home field went on to play in the NFC title game.